Hi everyone, my name is Amber Benoit, seamstress, sewing teacher, and superhero here in Rochester, New York. Today I'm going to give you some really great information of how you can upcycle those old clothes that are sitting waiting for donation bins into something new and can help you through this time when it's really hard to get to the sewing store. So I know right now it's hard to get to the sewing store and when you get there you can't even browse around. So what do you have to do if you want to get down a small project or you have a repair to do on some of your clothes? The answer is upcycle. Here are four ways that you can upcycle your old clothes to help you with repairs and some new projects. The first way is to use the fabric. Now I am a huge legging fan. But leggings wear out eventually, especially between the thighs, ladies, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so what do I do with those old pairs of leggings? Well, I cut out where the holes are and I save the rest of the fabric to use in repairs. Here's a good example. My oldest daughter is very sensitive to the textures of clothes. So it's very difficult to find clothes that work for her, especially pants. We're always struggling to find a fabric that feels soft enough, but is yet durable enough for how hard she plays. So she gets a lot of holes in her knees. This actually happened to us while we were here in quarantine. She got a hole in her pair of pants, and I just didn't have the time or energy to run out to the fabric store and get what I needed and figure out online what the right thing that would feel proper for her because she's so sensitive to textures. So instead I took an old pair of my leggings that I had kept for upcycling purposes. I cut out a piece of the fabric and I sewed them into her knee hole. Now it's nice and soft and comfortable on the inside, but that knee is covered on the outside. <laughs> Another way for upcycling is buttons. Guys, if you have a pair of pants or a pair of jeans or a shirt that is destroyed, maybe you got a horrible stain on it, you can't keep it anymore, maybe the zipper broke and you just don't have the energy to fix it, take the buttons, please, before you throw that out, take the buttons. I actually have a running little jar of buttons. I don't let my husband throw out anything until I've salvaged the buttons because why pay all this money for a plain button if you need to replace something in a, a pair of pants when you could already have like 20 of them on your hand. And especially right now, I know a lot of people are making those headbands with the buttons on the side. I have, I've been able to make a ton of them for people because I've saved so many buttons over the years. Now I'm not encouraging everybody to be button hoarders. I get that. <laughs> that is a scary avenue to go into, but it doesn't hurt to cut the buttons off of a pair of dress pants so that you have an extra one to replace or a silk blouse, those nice pretty fabric covered buttons. Imagine taking some of those off an old silk blouse and maybe adding a button up back to a dress like a, a bridal gown or a bridesmaid dress that you're trying to make into a cocktail dress. The, the sky's the limits guys. This is one of my favorite things to do. The third way that you can upcycle just regular things that you have in your closet is by saving zippers. This is one that nobody thinks about, okay? Everybody thinks, oh, I broke my zipper. I either need a whole new piece, I need to buy a new zipper and replace it, or I have to get one of those zipper repair kits and try to figure this out myself. The truth is that if you have an old piece that's maybe got holes in it and you're just ready for the throw out bin, you can actually remove that zipper fairly easy with a seam ripper and then save it. This is something that my grandmother used to do. And when she passed away and passed all of her sewing supplies onto me, I found a ton of really good zippers. And the only difference between those ones and the brand new ones in the store were that they had been removed from clothing, from bags, backpacks. She saved these things. And that's, I mean, this is like a uh, World War II mentality of, of upcycling. And I love it because it's so relevant right now. And it's so useful to have just a little stash of these zippers that you can reuse. And the very last one I have for you guys is straps. How many of you have had a bag that the zipper has broken on? And now you're stuck with a bag and you really don't want to invest the time, energy, or money it takes to replace that zipper, but you have a perfectly good strap. Save that strap. 
take it off and put it on your next project. Maybe you want to make something uh, like another backpack if you're really ambitious or a purse or you can save it for your kid's science project or their next Halloween and make them a nice belt to go with their outfit. It's a great way to get an affordable strap that is pretty much put together into your new project. But what ways do you guys upcycle? Let me know in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any other questions about me or what I do, you can find those answers at sewingbyamber.com. I'll see you guys next time.